Inside TV. Tell us a little bit about this red carpet first. I, I don't think I... <laughs> I'm calling it boys going wild. I don't know what's going on. I'm, as you can see, I'm probably sweating bullets right now. One from Denise Vasi and two from uh, pushing up, push, doing push-ups. But you went against Tyson Beckford and won. Like I mean, who else? Nah, it wasn't. It wasn't a real. It, it wasn't a real competition. I'm sure that he can give me a run for my money, make me sweat a little more if we were really going at it. But it's you know. I, it, it was a room for competition there, so I took I took the challenge. Now it's all about style and fashion. Yeah. Tell us about your own personal style here. Oh uh, well, today, well, I do have on a uh, G-Star shirt which says Raw, um, and I, I really want to throw something casual on over top of it that felt comfortable. It's New York; you never know the weather's wishy-washy right now. But uh, I have on Dior's sneaks. I like hot top shoes. I just really started wearing hot top shoes this year. Uh, you know what? They, the support is incredible. As long as they fly, we are good. Now tell us about the flannel. I mean, I don't think I've ever seen you in flannel. I, I really don't. Well, you're gonna see a lot, a lot more different about Mario this year. What else do you change? My hairstyle. See the Soul Truth in the hair. Soul Truth Entertainment, baby. Look out for it. Um, my workout has definitely changed, mm -hmm. and uh, my eating habits. What are you and doing? The album, different? man. You gotta check out the album when it comes out. I don't have a due date for him yet, but it's incredible. Um, I'll be working in New York for the next couple of days and I'll go back to the West Coast to work, but it's, it's incredible. Are you working with a lot of the same producers from the last one? Nah, I'm working with a lot of different producers. A couple of same, but my favorite producers who I've never worked with before, Dre and Vidal. Oh, okay. We're in the studio working right now. Um, KP and Malay, the new uh, team of producers that I'm working with. Well, KP in the business for a long time, but Malay's is a yeah, new producer. Um, it's so many. I don't want to forget. I don't want to name everybody because I don't want to forget nobody. But the last album was incredible. It's going to be yeah. hard to top that one. Well, this album, this album was great. I like it. I, 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 it was one of my favorite albums, mm -hmm. you know, I, I've done so far, the third record. But this album, it, it's, it's more, it's, it's honest. It's more honest, I think. Okay. This album is more honest. I really went in with the open mind, and you know, I wanted to introduce to my fans to the world something that they had never had before from me personally, but also in music. Right now, a music is, it, it's in a recession. I mm -hmm. think, you know, what I'm saying, just like Jesus says it, it's definitely in a recession. So. I think my next album is going to help to change the course of R&B and music in general because of the way the album feels. It's raw. Now that sounds like taking a challenge, taking a few risks there. What are you doing? I feel like I'm one of the few artists that can do that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Having real talent, having raw talent. And I feel like it's missing out there right now. So I'm one of the few that can do that. You know, al along with the amazing producers and people who are helping me with the, my vision, you know, from the writers, from writers to producers, along with them, you know, and my team helping me to take it there. How important is it for you to have your strong fan base in order to allow you to do that? Definitely. I mean, I feel like I've, I, I got fans from, from day one. From day one, those fans, of course. But I feel like I've gained a lot of new fans through other, mm -hmm. you know, uh, things that I've ventured in. You know, from from acting to different shows that I've done. You know, that will also now enjoy the type of music that I do. Are we going to be seeing you more on like big screens and everything? Absolutely. I'm, I'm I'm looking into a couple film projects right now. One of them is actually like a real action film, mm -hmm. which we'll be shooting overseas in mm -hmm. Russia. Big feature. Yeah, film. it is. It's a feature film, but um, it's you know I think it's a perfect part for me. I mean, okay. right now I want to I want to do a part that shows uh, different sides of my personality. Okay. It gives me a challenge also, and uh, I'm able to uh, be out of the country shooting, so I, I'll see and, and learn new things also. And of course, get on that soundtrack, right? Absolutely, we got to do the soundtrack. We got to do. Amazon, you want push -ups. I'll, I'll even. If you want, you want Amazon push -ups. You pick. You decide. I think the push-ups is easier for this. Okay, here we go. I would. Nah, you ain't gonna embarrass me, nah. Oh, I'm gonna see what I'm over here doing, right? Let me see what you got. Let me see what you got. How many did you do? How many did you do? I don't even remember. Probably about 10. 10? But he's a fine one. 10 quick ones. 10 quick ones. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, baby. Yeah, that's it. Oh! Never before.
Checking out Samari, be inside TV. You heard? Stay there. Hey, it's Kim Kardashian. You're watching Be Inside TV. Check us out on the web.